Hi guys, welcome to Decor Lab. Today, I want to talk to you about Lincolns. So first, what is the Lincoln? Lincoln is the balloon that has a tip at the end. So what you can do, you can take two of them and tie them together and continue tying them to create a beautiful, beautiful link. Let me show you how to do that. So first, let me tell you about the different sizes of it. We are typically using the balloons in brands Sempertex and Vitalitex. Uh, the Vitalitex bag looks like this, and Sempertex bag looks like this. The link balloons we typically use are 6 inch in diameter and 12 inch in diameter. Let me inflate them so you can see the difference and what they look like when they inflate into the full capacity. That's what they look like. 6 inch, 12 inch. So this is what they look like. If you guys seen any of the videos that we posted previously, and if you haven't, make sure you go ahead and check them out. I typically always recommend to underinflate your balloons. So they first will have more of a round shape versus oval shape, like egg shape. Um, and second of all, they have more stretching capacity, so they live longer. So let me show you what I would do. All right, so this is what I would do. So I would use, that has a funny shape to it now. Um, so now our balloons have a lot more stretching capacity. So in case if you press on it or if somebody touches your balloon, it does not pop, at least not right away. And now let's make a string of balloons with link balloons. I'm going to use the six inch balloons to create a link. So first you tie two of them together So we have two of the twos. Now we're going to take the tips of our link balloons and we're going to tie them, those two links together. Just one knot is good just because latex has a good grip to it. And just like that, you can add more and more juices to it or pods or bigger pieces or whatever, whichever way you choose to do it, uh, just to control the size of it or the length of it, depending on what you're decorating. So after you created your string, um, you can leave it as is. But what I like to do, I like to cut the necks of the balloons. You don't have to worry about the tips of the balloons because they're too small, but the necks are pretty obvious as you can see, like this versus this. So let's get rid of it. A common question is, can you double stuff your link balloons? My answer is absolutely yes. And you don't have to use a link balloon to stop the link balloon. You can use a regular balloon <laughs> with a regular tip inside of it. So like for our six inch balloon, you can stuff them with a five inch balloon and it will double stuff it and it will look perfectly nice, opaque color. So here I have the five inch black balloon inside of my orange link balloon. As you can see, you can't really see that I did not use the link balloon inside. You don't really need it. If you are looking to have your garland hanged, 
just like the one behind me. You wanna make sure you finish your uh, hanging part with a five inch balloon. So the one that doesn't have a tip. I'm gonna make sure it's nice. It looks like a drop like that. And you tie it to that like hanging tip. I maybe even make it. Okay, it's nice and pretty. So now when you hang it, it has a like nice finish to it without the tip. Versus if you did hang it with a tip on, I don't know, my pet peeve. So you can attach it to any surface. It can be the ceiling. You can drape it like a nice necklace of the ceiling like that. And you can play with the sizes and the length of it, or you can hang it like vertical like that you know so many different ways so but how to attach it to a surface a um, couple of different ways you have but the most common way and i feel like that's the easiest one is either to use the rubber band or 260 here i have the 260 which is a modeling balloon you simply tie it to a tip this this time you have to double tie it just because the tip is so small it will not, it, not like it will not, it will um, hold the, the thing. <laughs> uh, but um, I feel like it's just like extra secure when you double tie it. So double tie it. Now you can tie your 260 to basically anything, whether you have it in a balloon garland or to a surface, or if you have a hook, you can just tie it to a hook and then you know tie the other end to a ceiling or anything else or just leave it like hanging like that. And just like that, you have a very fun element that you can add to your displays. You can increase the height of the ceiling visually by hanging them vertically or even hanging them from the ceiling like that. That will give you so much dimension and depth of the room. You can check out how we use our link balloons in our Halloween display and in our Valentine's Day display. And I will see you in the next video. Wah, wah, wah.